From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. We'll start off with your pollen forecast. It's ragweed and grasses causing you some seasonal allergy problems if you are suffering at this point. It's going to be in this medium range today, medium high range tomorrow as we do start to dry up a little bit for tomorrow. We do expect some showers and thunderstorms to move into the region today. The fall equinox 10 days away, Halloween 48 days away. Daylight saving ends 53 days from today. Our low temperatures of the past several days, generally upper 60s, low 70s. We were in the mid to upper 60s this morning, but as we kind of look ahead towards Friday and Saturday, low temperatures will be pretty comfortable dropping down into the mid to upper 50s, it looks like. Yesterday, the Columbia Metropolitan Airport hit a high of 88 degrees. We were all generally in the upper 80s to near 90 before the rain moved in. Columbia Metropolitan Airport picked up 92 hundredths of an inch of rain. Here's the records for today, record high. 100 degrees, that was set 1900. The record low is 49, set in 1968. And the record rainfall back in 2006, a little over two inches of rain fell. Showers and storms expected later today. Some of those thunderstorms could be strong or even severe, low risk at this point. And if we were to get a stronger severe thunderstorm, the greatest threat would be damaging wind gusts, and that would be in the southern and eastern half of the Palmetto State. Cooler for Thursday, and it looks like great weather for Friday as this cooler and drier air continues to move in from the north and west. Here's our forecast over the next several days. Partly to mostly cloudy skies today with that chance for showers and thunderstorms to develop this afternoon as that cold front continues to approach. Once we get to really late tonight and very early Thursday, it looks like those rain chances will decrease. There may be some lingering clouds it looks like on Thursday, but that drier and cooler air will continue to spill in and the weather's going to be pretty pleasant, especially as we go into the last day of the work week. As we mentioned, small chance for severe weather, mainly along and east of I-95. If we were to get a stronger severe thunderstorm, the greatest threat at this point would be damaging wind gusts. High temperatures later today in the, we'll say mid 80s in general, lows tonight dropping back down into the mid to low 60s. So it'll be a pleasant start to your Thursday morning. Looking ahead towards Saturday, Kentucky State coming to town, playing Allen. High temperatures on Saturday, probably in the low 80s. Kickoff for this game, talking about temperatures in the low to mid 70s. If you're heading over towards Athens, Georgia, as the Gamecocks take on the Bulldogs, low 80s at kickoff for that 3.30 kick, that game on WLTX. And Florida Atlantic going to be heading to the upstate, 8 o'clock kick. Temperatures in the low 70s under partly cloudy skies. There's that chance for showers and storms today with highs in the mid 80s. Low 80s tomorrow, maybe upper 70s to near 80 on Friday. And you'll notice those morning lows dropping down into the mid to upper 50s. Here's the coastal forecast. There's that chance for showers and storms today, but I will say high chances for some dangerous rip currents along the coastal region. So if you are heading to the beach, basically through the weekend, you do want to pay close attention to those rip currents. The upstate forecast looking good over the weekend, but there will be that opportunity for some showers on Sunday. Looking ahead, our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook showing warmer than normal conditions. So a little bit of a cool down coming up, but those warmer than normal conditions do return September 20th through September 26th.